Right, another day, another upload. So in this video, I'm gonna do a unique tutorial. I haven't really seen anyone do this, but yeah, it's how you make this invisible buildup. And this is how it looks like. Okay, and here we are in Vegas. Now, before we begin, if you want to follow the tutorial step by step, then make sure your frame rate is set to 60 on your project settings and click apply and OK. The first thing you gotta do is, of course, get your song, get your clip and sync it up. So once it is synced up, you gotta add velocity or twixter. So I'm gonna go with velocity. And once you have your velocity, you wanna make two new video tracks just like that. Then you wanna go on your kill and then you're gonna go 25 frames to the left. So double click over here, backspace minus 25, click on to market. And once you're on this marker, you want to go five frames and every single five frames place a marker. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Place a marker, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, place a marker, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, M, and finally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, M. So it should look something like that. Now we're going to take a screenshot of every single marker we made. So starting with the first one, you want to go to here, click on it, and then click on save. Go to the next one, click on this, save, and then do this for the rest of the markers. And then finally, this one, save. And then don't do it for the impact because you don't need to do that. So here I've got five images. And now what you wanna do is make them invisible. So you can either use Photoshop or After Effects, or we can use this Photoshop clone that is on a browser. So here we have Photopea. We're gonna make the character invisible with this. And I left a link for it in the description to so make sure to check it out. But anyways, once you're here, open from computer and select the first image you made. So it should be the lowest number, image 49, boom. Now, once you're here, you want to click on this spot healing brush tool. Then you want to go to colors. So over here and make sure it's a bright color like red or yellow. Click OK. And now, as you can see, our brush is kind of small. So we're going to change the size. You want to go up to here to increase the size. I don't know, but like 50. And then you can zoom in the image. So hold Alt and scroll wheel. As you can see where you're looking, it's going to zoom in. But yeah, now what you want to do is basically draw over the skin. So the first time you do this, make sure don't let go of the mouse. Just keep drawing over the skin and make sure don't leave anything unpainted. Just basically paint the whole skin. And then once you're finished, release. The computer will do its work and you should get something like this. Now, if you don't like how it looks like, you can always fix it. So let's fix this up a little bit. As you can see, I'm just brushing over it and fixing everything. And boom, we have something like this. Now, I don't have to worry if it looks bad because the buildup is flickering. So people won't really notice. But anyways, once you're satisfied, I'm going to go to file, export as, click JPEG, make sure quality is at 100 and click on save. Then make sure to save it in the same folder. Add like a one at the end so you know that this is like... For this image so click save then go on to the next image so file open now we're gonna go image 50 and basically repeat the process so i'll see you once that is finished All right, and I'm done. It took me about 10 minutes. But anyways, once you have all of the files, you want to basically drag them into Vegas Pro. So starting off with the first one, here we have image 49. And as you can see, it's invisible. So now you want to go two frames forward and delete it. So do the same thing for the next one. Drag it in. Drag it, of course, to the next marker. Go two frames forward, delete it. So we're going to have like this invisible thing for two frames. And yeah, just do it for the next one. Drag it in, make sure it's only two frames long. Then the next one, two frames long. And then the next one, two frames long. So yeah, once you have all of that, you basically done the effect. As you can see, it looks like that. Of course, it looks bland, so you got to spice it up. So what you want to do is render this whole part out from the beginning of the marker to the end. Gonna go file, render as, make sure you're rendering in the same FPS as your project. Click OK, name this whatever you want, and click Render. So now drag the rendered file in, remove the audio track, put it on top, and now you can add your effects. So I'm going to add my build up and my impact. And once you have all of that, this is how it looks like for me. 
so now to spice up the build up even more what you want to do is go to video effects and search for blur mock curves so click on this one drag the default one on you want to shutter duration to 0.4 make sure wrap x is at reflect and wrap y is at reflect you want to go to the middle of your rendered file and then go a little bit to the right so i don't know somewhere around here you want to keyframe z distance and rotate and scroll down you know in this keyframe tab find your blur mock curves and before you do this make sure that sync cursor to media is checked and once you have that checked you can start your keyframing so once you're at this point you want to increase z distance or you know decrease i mean then put the rotate a little bit so something like this should look fine and now we're gonna extend center and where the center is is actually is where it like moves i don't know how to explain it you can see it on the screen as well you can move it around so i'm gonna make it something like this this looks pretty nice and once you like what you see you want to go to the very end and reset the values back to one and then rotate to zero but this is what you would have now it's kind of linear as you can see so we're gonna make the first two keyframes over here to fast fade so right click on the points fast fade and then for these ones in the middle right click slow fade and then right click slow fade and once you have done all of that you have yourself a nice looking invisible buildup. so here's how it looks like now if you want to add even more spice you know you want to make you want to make the music wobbly when the build-up happens what you want to do is split when it starts and then split when it ends over here on the music you want to extend this part so make sure that it crossfades like this and then at the end make sure there is a little crossfade something like five frames is fine now for this section you want to click on this effects and we're gonna add an effect to this audio so you want to make sure in vegas over here then apply amplitude modulation click add click ok we're gonna head on over to preset so click this drop down menu go down to Vaki and then boom this is how it should sound like as you can see has that trembling effect and sounds pretty cool but yeah boys that's the build-up effect hope you liked it hope you enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye